Good afternoon. Today is kind of a letdown for the holiday weekend. It was beautiful Saturday. Sunday, we had to put up with the wind. And today, we've had to deal with the ramifications of that wind. It was a north one, and it's really blown in some cold air. And Tuesday and Wednesday are probably going to be our coldest days with the threat for some freezing conditions and frost, too, on both of those days. And for that reason, we have that first alert weather day in effect. Here is a look at our alerts for the next couple of days. This is for Tuesday morning. You can see northern Valley really is the focus for the threat for some frost or freezing conditions and deeper purple. That's where we have a freeze warning in effect for temperatures that could reach that 32 degree mark or lower. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen in those areas, but the potential is there. And a frost advisory for areas in the lighter purple, Grand Forks included in that for temperatures that will be mirroring the freezing mark and that could lead to some frost. Southern Valley, perhaps not as cold, but I'd still prepare for that. And then Wednesday morning, likely going to be our coldest morning. And that's why we have a freeze watch for most of the valley. And uh, we are looking at the potential for lots of places to reach that freezing mark. And of course, that would be a big problem for anybody who has gardens going or uh, some flowers out there. You want to make sure you're protecting those the next couple of nights. Here's a look at our temperatures right now. It's cool. We've made our way to 50 at least in a lot of spots. Fargo, Grand Forks, a couple of those places. The warm spot, relatively speaking is Wadena and also in Fergus Falls too. We're both at 52 degrees there. The wind has been picking up a little more. We've got some gusts in the northern valley to some low 20s and we'll see that from time to time today. So a little bit breezier, factor that in with cool temperatures and you're going to want that heavier jacket I think here today uh, if you're going to be outdoors. We have a better bet at seeing a little more sunshine up north. Southern valley, you can see what's going on here. Radar returns showing some rain, especially over Ellendale, uh, Brown County west of there and then Stretching back over to Sisseton. So some of this may not be reaching the ground, but you could also be dealing with some sprinkles from time to time or a light rain shower too, as this continu continues to influence our weather. Uh, but the general trend will be for this more to be south of us here today. Still can't rule out more of those showers happening as we head into the afternoon and evening. So here's a look at our planner. Again, that chance for rain in the south. Northern Valley, again, some more breaks in the clouds heading into the afternoon. Uh, but that's also, you know, a potential for some shower development too. Again, this is going to be very light stuff, but maybe just enough to be a nuisance for you. Heading into the five o'clock hour, everybody's in the 50s, but that's it. We're looking at some low to some mid, maybe some upper 50s in a couple of spots, uh, but we stay cool throughout the day today, unseasonably so. We're talking a good 20 degrees or so uh, below average in some areas, so really a, a cool Labor Day. And then tonight, it gets downright chilly. We're going to watch the skies clearing. We will see the temperatures start dipping overnight. Look at the northern valley starting to see temperatures into the 30s at that point and as we head into the uh, early morning hours we'll start to see more and more temperatures into the 30s and the potential for some freeze freezing temperatures again in the northern valley langdon at 7 a.m perhaps at 32 faustin may be one of those places as well those of us in the south not nearly as cold but still chilly and the potential for frost maybe some patchy frost in those low-lying areas is there heading into tuesday we get some more breaks in the clouds we see a more partly cloudy skies and then we clear out overnight yet again and we're talking deeper cold for us for Wednesday morning. Check out Fargo's low on the seven day planner here. 34 degrees getting dangerously close to the freezing mark and more places will so it's going to be chilly but you can see that we are going to start warming things up as we head toward the end of the week but until then definitely feeling like fall.